Hello folks, looks like the snow is melting so let me take you to the backyard and show you what I've got going on here. <clears throat> yes, yeah, some people wonder how I can squeeze through here but I'm not that heavy. I just gotta duck down. All right, I am cruising for a bruising because I have three telescopes set up. I'm going to be running all three tonight. Not at the same time, but still, I'm already stressing out about this. And the one I'm making the video for today is my Celestron 8SE because tonight I'm going to be, I'm going to try to capture Venus for the first time and we'll see how it goes. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I want to show you the different filters I'm going to be using here for Venus. And so I'm going to be using a Pro Planet filter, which I remember worked pretty good on the Moon and Jupiter. And uh, this filter is going to go into my um, thread onto my ZWO ring. This ring will thread onto a bigger adapter here, and this adapter will then thread onto my 183 mm mono camera. I'm using an ASI 183 mono camera because um, I don't have a color camera right now. My ASI 224MC is a guide camera on my RASA setup. So um, I have another one on the way. I don't want to take it off my RASA. I don't like doing that. So for now, I'm just going to do a, a mono version of Venus and uh, we'll see how it looks. Um, and, and the Pro Planet, when I used it on Jupiter, by the way, it, it made Jupiter, it stripped away the color and made it mono, but it made it uh, a little sharper. So I don't mind using this, this filter tonight. And then this um, setup, once I have all these strutted on, it will go on to my T2 adapter here. And then um, I'll plug it right into my 8SC and we'll see how this works. I'm, I'm, I'm getting cold, <laughs> but I'll be back. Hey, I just wanted to get my face on video. I don't have anything else to say except when I'm doing Venus, I'm not gonna be using my, my deep sky rigs. That's just too much to worry about. So uh, I'll set those up after I'm done with Venus. And uh, I don't know if you can see Kane, the, the friendly neighborhood pit bull off in the corner. Oh, there he goes. As soon as I start talking about him. All right, I'll be back. Okay, there's a plane going by. So uh, is this Venus? <laughs> I think so. I lined up my Telrad in 8SC and it took me right to Venus. How do you like that? But I got a big donut, so uh, I'm obviously uh, out of focus. And it looks flat over here because I'm, I'm going through power lines right now, but hopefully that will fix itself pretty soon. I'll have to I'm image it between power lines. Um, I'm focusing right now. Uh, how the heck am I going to find focus? All right, so it looks like a big white dot. Let me uh, lower the exposure here. Well, not that much. What if I lower the gain? These are these are my solar settings. What I had set here. Let me let me drop the gain down to a. Uh, or no, not the auto gain. What am I doing? Let's just drop that down to zero. Make the exposure. Hmm. Well, let's drop the resolution. Oops, oops. Let's cut that resolution in half here. Okay. Now let me try and focus it a little better. Oh my God, I'm not using a Barlow. I am not impressed. <laughs> what do I have to do here? Okay, I, I lowered the exposure down here. Let's try and blow this up a little more so I can, hey, okay, I'm getting some. That looks a little better. Now, uh, wait, let me, uh, let's move this closer to the center here. Oops. Now let me play with the focus a little more. That's what happened when I put my hand on the focus. All right, now it's very windy. This, hey, I'm seeing something though. This is what I kind of would have expected. Let me, uh, Touch the focus a little more. I gotta turn down the uh turn down the exposure here. Oh I'm I'm seeing something. 
Go <laughs> six forty by four eighty. Woo, where are you? Where are you? Uh maybe that wasn't a go. Oh, let's see. I just want to make it bigger so I can see it. How you like that? Well, you know what? I'm going to record that one for now just to make sure in case I screw up. A, I'm going to set up for a 10 second exposure here. A 10 second video. And let's record three of them. Interval between, I'll go 10 seconds here. Let's see if I can do this. Then I'll play around with the focus afterwards again. Hmm. <laughs> Okay, I got one video recorded, and there's the countdown. It's going to record another one. Uh, well, all right, guys, so I'm just going to be doing more of the same, playing around with focus and stuff. So uh, that's all I got, folks. I will see you later. I hope this works out.